Brian Sterling reporting live tonight from inside the Wings Event Center in Kalamazoo, where a very special and emotional uh, memorial service, a candlelight vigil, will get underway for the victims and the families of the Kalamazoo shooting now one year later. The community will be gathering to remember those lives lost on this anniversary. 2016, to put it mildly, a difficult year for the Kalamazoo community, dealing with multiple tragedies. The shooting attack, of course, and then the cycling tragedy that killed five people just a few months later. Joining us here now from inside Wings uh, Event Center, a woman who's played a major role in helping the community heal, Tony Daniels with the Kalamazoo Strong, Forever Strong organization now. Tony, thanks for your time tonight. Yeah, my pleasure. Tell us about what we're going to see here this evening. So tonight is really about the community coming together, remembering the victims, um, honoring those still living, and then most importantly at the family's request, honoring first responders. It's a free event for the community to come out and again, continue the healing process. As you said, 2016 was a tough year. Um, and so, and we've shown that we're really resilient, but it's, it's really a message of hope. And we're also going to be unveiling the memorial project. There's a fundraising component as well that will kick in here coming up in the next couple of weeks. Talk a little bit about that and what you hope to uh, achieve through that. Yeah, last year, um, the Kalamazoo Wings hockey team, uh, we hosted the We Are Kalamazoo game. We are proud to say we raised $45,000 at that game, and we're bringing it back on Sunday, March 5th. Um, so we have several components to raise money um, that evening through ticket packages, silent auction, jersey auctions, concession stand sales. Um, and that's really going to be the jump start of the, the fundraising um, for this year. Do you have a goal set in mind, or are you just going to kind of wait and see? Um, you know, I'm confident the community is going to come out like they did last year. And actually, um, Toledo, ironically enough, they started our um, fundraising process for us because we played them uh, in a hockey game. So they were they stood up and raised $10,000, part of that $45,000. So, um, you know, I don't have a goal, but I know that they're going to they're, the community is going to rally, and I'm yeah. confident we're going to meet or exceed that. Talk about how that this community has rallied. They really came together. A lot of different organizations came together in kind of a cohesive manner after this tragedy. That says something about this community. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm born and raised in Kalamazoo, and I'm so proud to be part of Kalamazoo Strong, Forever Strong, um, the Kalamazoo Wings, Greenleaf Hospitality Group. You know, it really has become um, a family, and, um, and that's one of the, the signs of hope and that we can come together and you will be supported in a time of tragedy so it's it's been inspiring we look forward to uh tonight and of course it'll be very emotional uh and the community of course appreciates all of your efforts here thanks tony we appreciate your time with kalamazoo strong and of course as we mentioned this event gets underway at 6 30 we're going to carry that live for you on wxsp we'll stream it live for you at woodtv.com